Hey Salam, I hope you guys are well. Halal Chef is back for another video and this time we're making chicken shawarma. Shawarma is a popular Arab dish commonly found in Lebanon, Egypt, Arabian Peninsula and rest of the Middle East. It consists of thin cuts of meats that are marinated and cooked on a slowly turning rotisserie. I will be making the shawarma using the Baharat spice which is a famous Middle Eastern spice. This is one of the best chicken shawarma that you're gonna try. Without further ado, let's get started. For our chicken shawarma, I'm gonna start with Baharat spice mix. In with ground cardamom, ground cloves. It's best to toast and then ground your spices. Ground nutmeg, ground cinnamon, cumin, coriander, a good teaspoon of black pepper. Give that a really good mix. Now we are gonna use baharat, but we also gonna add some additional spices later. For the chicken, I'm using chicken thighs. If your chicken thighs are large, you need to cut them into two. Make sure to remove the excess fat, and this is the shape that you're looking for. With the help of your knife, you just want to lightly pierce them. You see some of these pieces are larger in size, so when you're piercing here, you're just making sure when it goes in the oven grill, it will cook properly. Now let's start with our marinade for the chicken shawarma. In with yogurt, some fresh garlic, but remember one thing, it's not a garlic party. So I'm gonna use around five to six garlic cloves. And the most important thing is, if you're using fresh garlic, you don't need to use garlic powder. In with fresh lemon juice. Now if you're using lemon, you don't have to use vinegar. Lemon is more stronger than the vinegar. It's not a problem if you want to use both. Some tomato paste tablespoon of the Baharat spice mix that we made, touch of red chili, ginger powder, onion granules, paprika powder for layer sweetness, finally a good touch of salt, finish this off with a good touch of oil. Now mix this really well. It smells really good. Now with the yogurt you don't want to use too much yogurt because we don't want this marinade to be watery. We want this marinade to actually stick to the chicken when we cook it. I'm just gonna have a little taste. Mmm, the Baharat. You can really feel it in the marinade. I'm just gonna save some of this marinade for later use. Add your chicken into this marinade. See, I've got a glove on. I'm just gonna give this a really, really good mix. Once mixed, you want to let it marinate for a few hours, or if you got the time, let it marinate for overnight in the fridge. Or grab the chicken once it has been marinated. Grab a plate and some of these skewers. Or I'm just gonna grab two of these skewers here. Grab the chicken. Grab your skewers and slowly start to insert inside the chicken. If you can, just do it once at a time. So something like that you're looking for. Now if the chicken pieces are large, just add one. If they are small, obviously just go with two. Are our skewers are ready. They look amazing. Grab the oven tray. You can cook the shawarma on the stove top, on the griddle. But for the authentic taste, it's best if you cook it inside the oven grill or broil it. Start placing your shawarma skewers. Rest of the marinade can just go on the top. Now this goes in the oven grill. Make sure the grill is preheated. The temperature needs to be on high, roughly around 230 Celsius, which is 450 Fahrenheit. Make sure to place the shawarma on the second rack. Let it cook for around 25 to 30 minutes until they are cooked completely. And also turn them around every six to seven minutes. And they're gonna be amazing. All right, so they're getting nice and brown. I'm just gonna turn them. Just brushing here with some clarified butter or ghee. It's gonna keep the chicken nice and moist and it will add more flavor. I'll grab the chicken shawarma, slice them off these here. Just want to slice it a little. Amazing. Alright, let's plate up our shawarma. 
I'm gonna serve the shawarma on this Lebanese bread at a generous amount of garlic sauce. Now the garlic sauce is what you need to use along with the shawarma. Some people they don't like garlic sauce so that's not a problem. If you want you can add a bit of the hot sauce or mayonnaise, it's not a problem. Get some of these fresh chives. They will be perfect with our chicken shawarma. Spread the chives all around here. A good portion of the sliced chicken just here in the middle. Some of the marinade from earlier on. Some of those pickled gherkins. Just a little touch of somok on the top. Touch of the salt. Beautiful. And let's roll this up. Bismillah. So you want to fold these sides like so. You want to place this side on the top like so. Bring everything into your hands. Tuck these in and slowly just close it down. Now once everything is wrapped up you can microwave for 20 seconds. This will just warm up the whole bread. Or if you want you can put your wrap on the griddle and toast it on both sides for 20 seconds or until you have those griddle marks on both sides. Alright guys, I'm gonna try this. Bismillah. Mmm. So delicious. So mouth watering. Just gonna take a bite of this. Bismillah. Mmm. Mm. Wow, oh, I'm nearly finished. It's so delicious. One of the best shawarmas that you're gonna eat. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like. Inshallah, I'll see you next time. Answer then salam. Make for your mom. Make for your dad. Make for your family. Enjoy.